Hi guys, uh, hello to my subscribers and hi to all my new subscribers. Thanks for the uh, thumbs up and the likes, I appreciate it, I really do. Okay, so I've been sent a few messages asking about, you know, vortex, creating a vortex within the riser tube. Uh, and I know the first one I created, I maybe overcomplicated it a bit, I think. Uh, and I've since done a couple more and uh, it's a lot easier than you might think. Okay, so I'm using a five inch tube uh, as a riser in this situation and the entrance to the riser tube would be slightly smaller than that, say three and three quarters, three and three quarters square, something like that. But right, to create the vortex within the riser tube, what you wanna do is come down this side about inch and a half something like that okay and then put your put your riser tube on top of your chamber just on that edge and then just onto there right yep. and simply draw a line around that take your whizzer or your jigsaw jigsaw is probably easier actually uh, and just cut that out of there like your steel should be using stainless for this as well as uh, I know from my experiences now mild steel doesn't last long and so when you get to that point there you want to cut straight down okay now on that line make a cut about an inch long right and then get your metal your steel and just make a, a fold to fold in like that just to create a bit of a kick then you want to trim that off right and trim that so that it's level with that take another sliver off there then what you would do is just stick a weld on that when you've got that welded up you stick that against there and you simply just mark that out with a marker pen or whatever chalk up there up there and all it is is a matter of then just cut that straight out with your grinder or your cutter or whatever just cut that straight out and then attach that with a weld just weld whoosh 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 straight up done and it, 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 it's just as easy as that and it really does work fantastic this with all the flame and the gases going straight in what they do they hit this side and they start to spin and all they literally need is just that little kick there to send them into a spiral in there and you'll create a fantastic vortex right through to the top of your vortex right through to the top of your rise you know however long that may be three foot whatever it's, it's great the other questions were size of this entrance to the riser generally that that entrance wants to be the same size as the riser or slightly smaller now because that is slightly smaller than the riser by putting that kick on there you're reducing the size again so in effect what you're getting is a better pull on your firebox because the riser can only take obviously so much volume of air and gas up through it if you make that, that entrance slightly smaller you'll get a better pull of air on that which is what you want on a rocket stove you really want it to pull so you're not getting flames and gases coming out the top of your firebox um, more questions again on this on the size of the opening on the top of the firebox well mine has a glass lid so to a certain extent the flame is contained and the air intakes come in at the sides at the top of the firebox if you look in my previous video the thing is the first one I did you'll see that so you can get away with a slightly bigger 
entrance to your firebox providing you've got some kind of lid on it uh, if you're not going to put a lid on then you're going to really have to have an entrance to your firebox the same size as your riser because again it's all about the volume that the riser can pull through so you you know they need to be equal uh, and that's about it guys uh, so thanks for all your comments and if you like like and um, please subscribe if you want to and uh, I'll see you again soon okay bye for now